it's time for new rulings from the board. The board would like to thank Twitter, the app that forces rather long-winded rants into 27 characters of pith for banning the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah. They must have finally crossed the line. Finally. <laughs> and now they'll no longer be on Twitter. We wonder what that line is so we can push a few more people over it. <laughs> the board would like to congratulate Kathy Griffith for taking over fashion police this week. Kathy, of course, is replacing the late, great Joan Rivers in everything, apparently. <laughs> we didn't know Joan Rivers had a twin. We didn't think that was humanly possible. But now we have Kathy Griffith, who we love. Relax. <laughs> You're all like, he better not say something mean about Kathy Griffith. <laughs> How dare he? She's our Harriet Tubman. <laughs> oh, boo, yeah. <laughs> the board would like to beat our chest with pride and adoration at Broadway's Hedwig at the Angry Itch for not only being a bona fide Broadway smash, but also for giving something back. For those of you who don't know, Hedwig and the Angry Inch, the production, has contributed over $400,000 from ticket sales alone to the Hendrick Martin Institute for ri at risk LGBT youth. <laughs> yes. So buy your tickets. John Cameron Mitchell goes into the show this week. And if you weren't around for the first time, it's, it'll blow your damn mind, ladies. Get up and support John. The board would like to congratulate Michael Sam and apologize. Because earlier, someone, I don't know who, <laughs> called Michael Sam the great butch hope. We meant it as a pithy kind of, oh, because every, oh, look, we can play football. Who cares? All right. And poor Michael Sam's been fired three times, but he's still out there being public and wonderful about the whole experience. He talked to Oprah, jealous. <laughs> and he just got engaged to his boyfriend, Vito Co something. <laughs> Thank God it'll just be Vito Sam now, or however they deserve that because I'm sure Michael's not the wife. <laughs> or maybe he is, and that would be delightful. <laughs> I'd laugh about it if <laughs> Michael Sam was a big bodden. Wouldn't you get a kick out of that? <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> the board would like to take a moment to hold you all in our, our hearts and say, we knew this from the beginning. It's understandable you made a mistake. But you should have listened, Pope Francis. <laughs> you were all on board, the people's pope. Maybe I can become a Catholic again. Fuck you. <laughs> you can never go back home, ladies. This isn't ours. It's the Catholic Church. Jesus died because of something you're doing currently. Last year, or 2013, he was the Advocates Man of the Year. And this week, what does he say? Oh, gay families are a threat. A deep, deep threat. Mm-hmm. We warned you. The Catholics are tricky. And as we've said many, many times, don't trust a man in a skirt who's in the flats. <laughs> Just a gold rule of thumb. The board would like to voice our utter disappointment at dis and dismay with Saks Fifth Avenue, who's fighting for rights to discriminate against trans employees. Saks? <laughs> well, I was a Bergdorf girl anyway, so fuck <laughs> off. The board would like to take a minute. No. <laughs> the board would like to give a classic, well, now you know, sort of icy Grace Kelly smelling something bad in a movie. to TLC, my husband's not gay. <laughs> Your husband's gay. <laughs> There's... <laughs> All right, that's how you want to play this? <laughs> Listen, if I get up there and it's all Mormons anyway, send me right to hell. I don't need any of that. 
I don't want to drink Ovaltine with Dinah Shore for eternity. <laughs> The board would like to talk to Troy Aikman, who recently said that gay's not his lifestyle choice. Apparently solely shopping at the men's warehouse is. <laughs> and maybe life, maybe a little eye cream could be true, Troy. You're named after every gay porn star of the 90s. <laughs> Get with the program. The board would like to congratulate Amazon Prime's show Transparent and its star Jeffrey Tambor for their wins last weekend. The speeches, the cast, the entire show has been a dream, and we're looking forward to next season, which will be written in part by our good friend, Our Lady J. Yeah. The board would like to thank Matt Bomber, just for breathing. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever in your life, and my friend, I'm sure that little 24-year-old's like, I bet I could fuck him. No, you can't. <laughs> Maybe I will someday. Maybe, probably not. <laughs> He's very happily married. The board would like to congratulate my personal hero, Stephen Fry, who announced that he's marrying his 27-year-old boyfriend. <laughs> and I had to look twice, because that boy looks young. <laughs> Real, I mean, he's getting carded places, and that's England. The board would like to take a moment to remember longtime member and friend to the show, Taylor Negron, who passed away. <laughs> Taylor came to the meeting a few times, and he was a good friend, and he said to me, darling, you'll never stop working because people always need to laugh. Just remember to make them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dark Christmas that year, so you understand? <laughs> The board would like to thank the state of New York for making it legal for trans people to legally change their birth certificates without any type of surgery. <laughs> we live in a great state. The board would like to pant in anticipation at the announcement that the absolutely fabulous movie is happening in 2015. <laughs> This is my Star Wars, bitches. <laughs> I have based whole decades of my life on things that Patsy said. <laughs> and finally, the board would like to give a long overdue salute to one of our favorites, model and hurler, Naomi Campbell. She likes to throw things. If only she could do it as a living. We've, lo we've loved you for decades, Naomi, since you peaked our budding sexuality in all those George Michael videos. And now we know the feeling is mutual. In a recent interview, Naomi Campbell said, and I quote, without gay men, I wouldn't exist. You're welcome. <laughs>